Hello G's and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome um, and if you like what you see, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and comment below everybody to let me know what you like about this video. Now today I'm going to be making little personal pizzas and I'm using gluten free tortillas. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to put, I think I'm just going to make this a mushroom pizza. I'm slicing up, oh, let me do it so you can see. Slicing up some tomatoes here. I'm not using sauce. I'm making it like, kind of like margarita style. Oops. I'm going to try to slice it a little bit too thin. And I'm going to season it up with some garlic powder, salt, and oregano. I love the taste of oregano. A lot of people don't like oregano, but I love it. I love the taste. I love the smell. And oregano is good for you. It's very good for you. It's good for your immune system. I think I mentioned this before. I was going to make the bee love sauce like I've been promising you guys since forever and I will make it it's just that you know my seafood boils are limited enough since I can't have shellfish anymore so all I have are mussels and um, a little salmon which I think I'm gonna use to make <laughs> egg rolls so it's just mussels that I have for the seafood boil so I need to have um that corn on the cob and I'm having trouble finding it so you know I think I want to find the corn first before I ooh, do the boil oops ah, I lost that I'll get it later I'm gonna put the meat is up there Wipe off this so the tortillas don't get soggy. And we're going to get this going. And what do I do with the cheese? I know that I have it. Oh, I see it. <laughs> oh, seems like I'm always losing something here. Now these are corn tortillas, gluten-free corn tortillas. And I know corn is gluten-free, but sometimes it's grown in close proximity to wheat, barley, or rye. And that's what could make it not absolutely gluten-free. Um, you know, cross-contamination and all of that. So these are guaranteed gluten-free. And I'm just going to put some of my tomatoes on here. around mm, yeah and um get some cheese going actually you know what let me put the mushrooms on first cheese on top of all of this. I know that's usually the opposite of the way 
people do it. They put the cheese and then they put the toppings on. But, you know, this is, everything is my way around here. So, that's how we're doing it today. And I'm going to try and save some of these mushrooms so I can make some mushroom bacon in my air fryer because Hugh and Nini challenged me quite some time ago to do this challenge. I don't remember what it's called. I have to go back and look at it. But I know it was three pancakes, a sausage, some cheese, and bacon. So the sausage is a no-brainer because they have plant-based sausage. But I can't seem to get my hands on... They have plant-based bacon too, but I can't seem to get my hands on it. So we're going to have to just do it like that. Now I'm going to put the cheese on and then I'm going to put the seasoning on top of the cheese. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm loving it. And I hope you guys can get a good picture of this. Oops. get a little salt on here you know what I'm putting in my hand so it doesn't come out too much so I can be sure to just sprinkle it a little salt this is gonna be a quick video <laughs> A little salt a little garlic powder I've gotten really lazy no but you know what it is I'm saving my fresh garlic for the seafood boil little garlic powder these are gonna be good and my oregano It's the oregano that makes this smell just like real pizza. Well, it is real pizza. It's just real pizza my way. <laughs> like everything else is over here. There we go. So I'm going to pop these in the oven and I'll be right back. I'm back. So the cheese is all melty and with ooey gooey goodness and... I'm going to add one of my favorite things. I don't know how many people out there like hot sauce on their pizza, but I do. So, I'm going to add a little bit to this. Mmm. And I have my water. Now let's see how this tastes. Fold it. Mm-hmm. Of course. It's on a tortilla, so you're not going to get that New York style crust. But this is pretty good for a, like a snack. Mm. And in my opinion, it's better than most um, <coughs> mm, 
that hot sauce had a little more kick than I thought. It's better than most frozen pizzas. And it's definitely better than most of those gluten free pizzas that you can get from a pizza shop. With the crust, it tastes like cardboard. Much better than those. <laughs> Pretty good. And I'm wearing my Be the Difference t shirt. Hashtag humanity, which I'll show you. It's so pretty. Just in case you missed the unboxing. Hmm. I think this is my favorite t-shirt now. <laughs> put that over there. I'm going to put a little more garlic on here too. Because <clears throat> powdered garlic is nowhere near as good as fresh garlic. I just have to say that. But you know, you could get fancy with it. You could put garlic, you could add spinach, eggplant, anything. Mm. Just if you have to, if you put eggplant on your pizza, like roast it first, let it get nice and crispy because the eggplant won't cook as fast as the pizza will. I love roasted eggplant on my pizza. Mm. I'm really enjoying this. Hmm. Or if you don't want to make it like um pizza, tortillas are good for a lot of things. Oh. You can do an open faced tuna melt. I did that though I would probably well maybe maybe not but yeah you put the tuna on and then any kind of cheese you want maybe even like stick some dill pickles underneath the cheese I love tuna with pickles <laughs> so why not put it on a tuna melt Mm. I might do that on one video. <laughs> you know what I just thought about? Remember how I did the burgers and I did the the waffle buns? But they weren't really... No, I did the plants and buns in the waffle maker. And then I bought a little sous vide machine. Um to make the plants and buns and I never made them <laughs> how to try and make them I got a little discouraged because the sous vide the cups that came with the little maker were um a lot smaller than I thought they would be but it would be perfect for sliders you know so I might just do that do some um plants some slider size plants and buns I mix some slider size, you know, little burgers. That should be good. I don't know why the, 
that machine just came to mind but it's still sitting in the box yeah i was gonna do an unboxing and then it took me so long to do it and i was like how many buns can you make with this <laughs> but you can make four little teeny tiny ones so i'll try that And as soon as I find the corn on the cob, whether it's fresh or frozen, I will get it and do my seafood boil with my beloved sauce. I'm going to freeze up some fruit tonight and maybe do a smoothie for you guys. You've seen me do smoothies before. But what I also plan to do is um, make crepes. Ooh. I have, um, I got a crepe pan. It's just a flat um, cast iron griddle. I got one of those and one of those little tools that's flat on the end it's stainless steel and it's flat and it has um you just twirl it around and you can make perfect crepes i bought one of those i got that a long time ago and i haven't used it yet the pan or the little tool i got it when i made those ice cream cones before oh this should make it a little easier to make the cones So I'm going to um, try and make some crepes with it. <laughs> yeah, and see how they come out. Put some fruit on it. Make a nice little sauce. Mm. Should be pretty good. Okay, um, how am I going to show? Oh, I know. I'll just push this away so you can see the pretty writing. It might be a different clothing t-shirt. And it says, hashtag humanity. Nice, and it has like the New York skyline. Very nice. Mm. The pizza's done. I really enjoyed it. Try making some little personal pizzas for yourself. It's fun. Good activity to do with the whole family. Especially if you have kids. They love that. And um, I'll just remind you to always count your blessings. Be a blessing to somebody else. And be kind to yourself. And don't forget humanity. Until next time.